Halo Galactic family. Ascension is an expected and normal part of the evolutionary development of the universe. It has always been so and will continue until it is no longer necessary as a collective process. The body during ascension will know how to readjust and reorganize itself because this process is quite normal. This process of transformation has been coded within the cells of the body and is taking place naturally. What people are now learning to do is how to assist what is occurring naturally with outside factors being aware of the foods they are eating, being aware of their connection to the earth and by being aware of the direction their body is leading them. The greater you are aware of the process, the greater you can assist what is already going on and will be continuing at its natural pace according to the cellular coding for each individual. In this process, the very structure of every cell in our bodies will endure changes. The adjustments in your body will occur in the body cells as these cells undergo a gentle infusion of new electromagnetic impulses from the planetary shift. Our DNA will evolve from two physical helixes to two physical helixes and 12 spiritual strands up to 14 which correspond to energy centers or chakras, inside and outside your body. DNA The new style 12 strand DNA was originally in bodies 300,000 years ago. Within human body cells are light encoded filaments, fine gossamer threads of energy that carry information. When these gossamer threads are working together like a fiber optic type of cable, they form the helix of your spiritual DNA. Imagine that your frequencies are starting to detach from each other and where they are still connected, they are just threaded together. The etheric body acts as a transmitter and receiver for surrounding energies. This takes place via specific energy centers for the body or chakras. Each chakra is directly associated with an endocrine gland and nerve plexus. Because of their close relationship with the chakras, which transmit and receive this energy, the endocrine and nervous systems especially, are now undergoing radical transmutation. The increase in electrical energies is requiring a complete rewiring of the nervous system, while all the organs and glands in the body are being totally restructured. As humans manifest a more pronounced light body, most of these organs and glands will no longer be needed and may gradually atrophy and disappear. In the meantime, it is important to acknowledge the changes taking place in the body and to support the physical body as much as possible as more and more light becomes available, the intensity of electromagnetic energy around you also increases. This means that there will be more rapid neurological activity in the body resulting in higher intensity impulses firing the central nervous system. Merkaba being the nervous system will immediately attempt to dissipate that energy by sending it back out of the spinal cord. If these impulses then fire along facilitated pathways into the muscular system, they could cause muscle tightness and soreness. If they fire into the blood vessels, restricted circulation often results. When these impulses fire into the skin, you may experience abnormal thermal sensations that is feeling hot or cold, prickling, itching etc. These will be felt more by many people as cellular transformation occurs in the body. It is like your engines are being rebuilt and the temperature gauge is being replaced. So in a way, you are finding that as you are building new information into the body, into the cells, you are redesigning the different aspects of the physical body through this transformation. So as this is happening, there is a greater gap in what is being experienced, a greater experience up and down, and a greater experience of upheaval. Much is being tossed around. Much that is no longer working and that is outdated. It is being tossed out as new data and new equipment is being gradually introduced and built into the body. If they should fire into the organs and glands, 
they may inhibit their previously normal functioning. Brain The body going through an alteration in consciousness will most likely manifest symptoms of tenderness, ache and trauma. New aches and pains will appear in various places in the body and then these will disappear. Headaches and sudden shooting pains in the head or eyes may occur and these may be signs that adjustments are being made in your energies. These adjustments will be attuning you to different frequencies during cellular transformation. The parts of your brain that have been dormant in the past are now being used. Your physical body responds to the changes by overreacting to slight stimulation by external biological elements, such as pollens, not originating from it. Flu-like symptoms, sinusitis and congestion, specific aches and pains, and feelings of toxicity may be other reactions you will experience from the increased intensity of incoming energy. When these disturbances happen, the body is reaching a threshold. It will pass beyond this threshold as the body's capacity to handle more light increases. During these times, it will be especially useful to take more baths and to drink lots of water. This will help your body to facilitate these changes more easily. Swimming will also be helpful in this respect since water is very soothing and relaxing as well as being useful in balancing your energy.